Hello. <laughs> Did that hello sound weird to anyone else or just me? Today's Friday, April 12th, 9, 10 p.m. Almost 9-11. First up, I look at my phone and it's 9-11 a lot. I don't know what that means, but I take it as a good omen. I think everything is a good omen. Because it always goes to change. Or like every omen kind of like, it, I'm thinking of like bad ones. Like I know some people think like you see a black cat and that's like a bad omen. It's like even if it is a bad omen, like it's always, it's telling you to change, telling you change is coming up. And I think all change leads to the betterment of us. And that was actually a pretty good explanation. I've been getting better on my words. I don't know if it's episode 40 or what. Um, yeah, it's episode 40. I was just thinking right before this, like I've been getting better at celebrating myself and I'm like, I have a bottle of wine in my bathroom, like right behind me, across from this wall, or behind this wall. So maybe I'll pop that. It's already been popped open, but maybe I'll pop that cork back out and pour some. For fun, for celebration, it's good to celebrate yourself. Especially when you're not used to doing it. It's good to be proud of yourself and to celebrate however you want to. If you want to watch a whole season of Jersey Shore and sit down, do, do whatever makes you feel good. Um, okay, so episode 40. Let me breathe my nose. I'm sure I've talked about it. I'm sure I've talked about a lot of things. I got my, um, I had a nose surgery to fix my deviated septum in 2021, September, October. Um, and it looks different too, but, um, it was for my deviated septum, okay? Um, I used to, like, hold my breath as a kid. Like, for, I didn't want people next to me to hear me breathe. And if you feel that way, please try to understand that breathing is normal and it's good to not hold your breath. It's good to breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Um, and it's okay if people hear that. They won't judge you because it's normal. It's, you exist. It don't... I think a part of me was like trying to like hide, but it's like you can't hide. Like you, you are a living human being. You are alive and well, and you exist. And you can't hide. I mean, I know my name means light, and I feel like that's part of the reason why like I've tried to hide, along with the other reasons. But um. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You gotta let it shine. I haven't acknowledged um, the Snuggie my mom found. My parents, they would wake up in the middle of the night and then look at infomercials and buy them. So we have some of them, but um, so she just found this like last week and cleaned it. But these swept the nation. Probably the whole world. There's quite a few things that have swept the nation in the whole world, but um, this is one of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've done pretty good. Like I haven't um stuttered or ummed too many times or like been like, oh, what do I do? What do I think of? This is kind of why I started this podcast to get better at talking, get better expressing myself through words. This is my therapy. I saw a therapist for a long time. Helped me in a lot of ways. I do not negate that at all. Helped my confidence a lot. It also just wasn't serving me anymore. Point blank period. It just wasn't. I think I, I think I learned from everything I'm doing. So it's not like I went somewhere and didn't learn. I could learn from every experience I do, I make. I experience I'm involved in it like I've talked about it it's not like, crazy to think like he may be watching this one day right I had two actually I don't want to talk about it. um I felt like he was benefiting from it a lot too that's all I'll say okay so um now I'm doing the thing I don't feel bad about talking about it it's just I talk about it all the time and I just wanted to mention that this is like my therapy. I think, okay, so the way I'm thinking about like the way I ended it could have been better. Maybe if I was a different person, cause I'm trying to think like how I would have, like it would have been hard. I basically just texted, I'm like, I need a 
taking a break basically and he was like wait what and said something like that and i'm like yeah basically and i don't know like i shouldn't feel guilt about like stopping it though i shouldn't feel guilt about that so i'm glad i'm talking about it and hopefully telling you all like no one should you should not feel guilty for like trying to have like a, you should not have like a codependent relationship with your therapist okay and that's what i felt like i was in to segue, I, that's been a theme of my life, codependent relationships, and if you've ever feel like you've been in one or are in one, I would suggest to work on that because you do not need to, you really do not be, need to be in that. Like that, it's very unhealthy. Baby's was trying to find a comfortable place and now she did, looking at me. So cute. On the moon pod. Got that for my birthday a couple years ago. I kind of want to just Google, like, what are signs of codependent relationships? I think last time I suggested, like, to Google more. <laughs> the last Google I had was, what a spiritual emergency, spiritual crisis. Uh, what are signs? I was in the, oh, I got my eyebrows done. Like, I just got back, like, 15 minutes ago, probably. What are signs of codependent? relationships i spelled that wrong the why is the help suicide crisis line pop up i mean i guess that's good okay poor boundaries low s had that low self-esteem had that fear of abandonment had that decision making had that difficulty identifying feelings had that i'm just gonna stop saying have that because i had all of these conflict avoidance behavior ignoring your own needs the relationship feels scripted, controlling behavior, feeling empty and unfulfilled, communication, taking on undue blame, have trouble saying no, you need approval from your partner, desire to feel important to someone, difficulty being alone, difficulty dealing with change, having intimacy issues, lack of trust in other people, neglecting personal needs, weak sense of self, you always feel anxious or drained, caretaking. Um, it's 9.19 p.m. That's why I'm cozy vibe with the... I just did my night face routine. Yeah, I have gone to therapy for a long time and I have studied psychology and stuff, but I... I don't like... I'm not like a teacher. I will... I like just explaining, um... We're talking about, like, just my experience, because that's, like, the only thing I can talk about. Um, and I just suggest get out of the codependent relationship. Just... It's hard. It really is hard. I think being aware of it is kind of always the first step of anything being aware of it acknowledging it because that was my problem like i would not be aware of it and i'd kind of be in the delusional thing which i that's probably the hardest step becoming aware of it so i guess i hope if anyone heard me explain those like that helps i think you could have like a tingling like honestly like i didn't know the word codependent relationship and then once i did then i can like recognize it so i guess it's good like these words like gaslighting also like did not know what that was but once I did, like, it's easier for me to pinpoint stuff. So last time I had the candle, like, right under this. And it, like, burned a lot of it. So, um, yeah. I kind of been an inside joke. My mom, I think I said Delulu because, like, that's become a word. <laughs> and I've said that a few times around her. It's funny. Me and her can be a little Delulu. I think everyone can. We really can. Um, so maybe like two hours ago, Abby, my sister, texted me that she's like, what are you doing? Like, want to come get Scarlett's ear piercing with me? And I'm like, uh, yeah. So we went and I filmed it and that's probably going to be a vlog uploaded maybe Monday. I was so sad seeing her cry. I got my ears pierced at like 10, 12. Not sure. Yeah, I look like looking at the viewfinder too, so. Oh, I just got my eyebrows done. Did I say that? Yeah, I did. I don't know. So it's, it's been a it's been a week and it's been a day. Okay, so the past couple of days, what was I? Okay, so the beginning of the week, eclipse. The eclipse was really cool. It'd be so cool to like see it in such a good visibility space. Space that would be really cool. I love events like these where people like on these eclipse days and like full moons and new. M not as much new moons. It's usually when people can, like, see it and, like, it's a thing. When people acknowledge, like, the planet and, like, the differences that it, they're making in the sky. Like, I love... Because I do study astrology. That is, like, I study study it. It's just cool when people acknowledge these things. They're like, it's a big deal. I'm like, yeah. It's... The moon's always changing. It moves fast. So that happened at the beginning of the week. I was trying to think because I was dog-sitting for someone who went somewhere to watch the eclipse. 
they came back that day later that day and then I had a two day break and then my mom left on Wednesday to go to Sri Lanka Sri Lanka it's like an island under Asia part of Asia it's under it though I guess it's part of it so it's not under it so she's there then I that day I started watching another house the 333 house which I've sat like a few times before if you've heard me talk about it. Then I got back today and it honestly like, okay, so I don't know for sure if one of the dogs at the 333 house bit baby last time. I don't know if I've talked about this, but it's like healed and everything since the last time. She didn't do it this time, but like baby do be scared. Like she is scared around there and like not her full up to her full potential while I'm staying there. And I can't leave her here because no one was here. I mean, I... I think I could have stayed here and then traveled back and forth, but like I just, the camaraderie, the collection, the like being together, like it would have been a lot more difficult and I probably would have had to pick up a lot more pee and poop, which I would gladly, gladly do, like if it means peace, but I don't know. Basically the point I was saying, I'm not for sure if that dog ever bit baby. Cause when I was looking at it, like I didn't, I'm not really sure what it was. Also I should trust my instincts, but. I don't know but point is I think baby was excited to leave and I think I was too and I honestly like would not be mad if I mean being straight up straight up I would love to not dog sit anymore I would love that I really would I love dogs I love cats I like going to different houses it's like the novelty wears off pretty quick like honestly <laughs> I mean I'd rather I much rather it would be in my own house i would i've i've really liked this experience honestly like the parts of the job that i like i like kind of like being my own boss and being able to like accept or decline people i like setting my own prices i love the dogs and cats and like staying at people's houses like i just said like that has a little bit of fun with it and also not as fun like i would rather be at my own house like this was like i feel like i've learned a lot from this job and i have a bunch of like i have committed dog sitting gig lined up kind of till july like on my birthday unless unless they back out but um i would love to not do it anymore so yeah i love dogs and cats though i like using people's disney plus <sighs> I like... That's pretty much it. I like baby making friends, but like, some of these dogs are rough. That's what I'm saying, like, some of these dogs are rough and like, not the best. I just realized, I guess I can use... I have a glass of water in my mom's room and I can pour that down. Otherwise, I would have to go down and get a wine glass. I might just do that. Let me feel better though. Let me... I don't want to do... I don't want to drink when I'm like, on a low to get higher. Let's get high. And then we could get low, you know what I mean? Get low, get low, get low. Um, get high, get high. That's a, what's the ASAP song? I don't know. Like the Rocket Man song, but not Ellen John, but is it ASAP? I'm surprised I said that. Like about the not waiting to dog sit. I just, I hope it manifests. And I know, I, like I'm not going to be doing it forever, obviously. Just, I would like a break from it. I would like to not do it. I would not like to not do it. I love making videos. I really do. I've been like so excited to like do this. And I'm like surprised that this has been going so well. But I mean, like if I look at my anal, well, uh, the word I just kind of said, it was like anal, <laughs> which is kind of my Snapchat. Anal Sims, anal Sims. People joke about that. A lot of people have subscribed to me recently which is really cool it is really cool i'm very grateful for that like i love you all and i'm doing this because i love doing it and hopefully i could teach people like it kind of just flowed into the codependency thing but like that's a big thing like i said like it's a big uh life lesson in my life and i'm continually trying not to fall back into that and i've done a lot of work like it's um, been a lot of work but i've been doing it and you can too Okay, let me get the wine, because might as well. Let me pause. Cheers. Shout out to my last, the two houses ago for this wine. You said I could have some. I assume that meant the whole bottle. I didn't want to leave it like halfway or like some. I did break your wine stopper. One of them. It was a really cool one. I'm sorry about that. I didn't know what to do about that. But you kept mentioning the wine and on the, I, the, I was watching them, took a day break and then came back. To that house so on the second time i figured why not because i was celebrating myself making like 100 subscribers or 150 or something because i've been celebrating myself working on it so yeah cheers s for sims s for spectacular s for simstacular um 
23 minutes. I'm 23. I'm not. This isn't illegal. Okay. Cheers to that. I could be lying. I'm not though. I'm way too honest. Not too honest. I think being honest is good always. I don't have to say everything though, but I kind of do. <laughs> I do do that. I do do too. We all do. And if someone says they don't, they're lying. Shout out to my sister Abby who told me that she didn't poop when I was like in middle school. Like old enough to know she was lying. But I like to think that other people are telling the truth. Like I'm like why would they lie about that? Like I just don't. This has also been a theme in my life and in podcasts. Like I just don't get it. Like why would you lie about that? I don't know. Like why would you want to trick me? Sarcasm. I get it a little more. But like Abby. Like it wasn't very sarcasm -y, the way that this was happening. Shout out. Mackenzie, you can't really see it. I feel like you could see it on the last podcast, but she sits in front of me at church and she wrote me a thing. You are awesome for Mackenzie. Love you. Love you, girl. That was very sweet of you. Okay, just remembered. I wrote some notes down. I'm getting professional. Pod notes number 40. Last updated at 8.11. Okay, um, I did have my period this week. It always syncs up with the new moon. And did you know solar eclipses only happen on new moons? And then lunar eclipses only happen on full moons? I might as well fact check that. Do lunar eclipses happen on full moons? A lunar eclipse can only occur during full moon. Yep, so I was right. Um, so yeah, I did have my period it's kind of basically over right now okay i looked at my butt yesterday and i have a very big bruise on it and then i look today i noticed a very big one on the side of my leg so i get bruises a lot i've heard before probably researched it googled it because i'm a google fiend does that mean i consume it a lot um not sure i uh what was i gonna say oh I've heard that ghosts. I should ask my friend Leo about this. I'm seeing them on Monday, the Lex Podcasters meetings on Monday at Gaddy Town. I missed the last one because of my car. Update, I'm still driving the Lexus convertible. Okay, very side topic, I know. I've heard that some random bruises can be from ghosts. That was the whole point. I don't know. Okay, next one. Oh, okay, this can be added to the list of why I do not really want to house it anymore. No place I have visited has a comfortable place to watch TV. None. None. When I have my own place, first thing I'm doing is going to make it comfortable. I I have a tendency to make places my home. If I had started this podcast when I had my own place, my own apartment, like maybe I have some pictures and videos of it like I can upload at some point. Like I was constantly changing it around. Um but everyone that like walked in like said how homey it was and how like loosey it was. Like this place like honestly, like I've done like this room. I've done enough. I don't feel like it's big enough to like like this isn't I want to work on it more. I those film pictures I did, I want to like put some on the wall. I used to have a lot there. Just my place was a lot different. Like when I have my own place, the first thing I'm doing is making it comfortable. Point blank. It was like not just the seating place, but like like if the seating place was comfortable, which I can only like really think of like one that had a recliner and it really wasn't even like that was the most comfortable one it wasn't like perfect by any means but then the tv is like to the side and it's like far away tv is always far away it's like two up it's to the side there's no place to like put my legs my feet like it's very surprising very surprising next one people slash dogs that can't do their own thing and mind their own business okay add that to another list i don't i'm not i don't like complaining but I'm not really complaining right now. I guess I'm making my... I'm just expressing how I feel, okay? Um, and it's a... What's the definition of complaining? What does complaining mean? If they tell me to... Okay. The expression of dissatisfaction or annoyance about something. Okay, that's exactly what I'm doing. So I guess I am complaining. After the fact, though, like, whatever. That's what I'm doing, I guess. But I feel good about it because, like, I haven't, like, said this stuff before. And I'm not complaining to the person either i'm like the perfect house sitting person like that's why i'm one of the highest paid ones my family likes to joke about that like how um, my prices are like the highest which it's not the highest but it should be i'm kidding i mean i'm anything lower like it wouldn't be worth it F do what's your worth figuring out what your worth is important you are worth a lot what was that thing though like minding their own business dogs not being able to do and people not being able to do their own thing and mind their own business yeah okay <laughs> i hate that i'm talking about dog sitting so much like i don't want to do it anymore but one of the dogs at the 333 house like they're i love dogs and they're both cute but they can be annoying 
I guess especially when you don't want to do it anymore. So I'm glad I'm talking about it. So hopefully it changes. And I don't have to do... I said no to some lady that I just got a wrong vibe yesterday but n not being able to do your own business like i love baby because she can entertain herself and do her own thing and i'm like that and when other people aren't like that yeah it annoys me you should be if you don't want to hang out with yourself when you're alone like you think other people are gonna want to hang out with you baby come here oh i take this as a good omen come here like it, it's annoying Maybe you're not annoying. Oh, she's perfect. Did you hear me say your name? You want to say something to the microphone? Yeah, I love baby because she could do her own thing. And I can too. Like, as a baby, I entertained myself. As an adult, I entertain myself. I'm okay with being alone. I don't constantly need validation from others, attention from others. I actively try to avoid it, actually. You could say hyper-independent. I've gone through those things. I don't... Th I've worked on that and I don't... I recognize the importance of relationships and community now that's why i'm kind of doing this be like if i didn't recognize the points of that i wouldn't be doing this but um i have been called a hermit i do admit have been a hermit probably almost not completely on purpose i think we all need to go through periods of isolation to get to know ourselves better but yeah like if you constantly like need my attention and kind of depend on me for like emotionally and stuff like that is annoying and it's annoying to other people and you shouldn't like put that burden on other people to like like misery loves company and it is annoying like you can see that right like learn to love yourself and be alone by yourself i think that i can help i hope i can like inspire people that like i love being by myself like i find i am i do the whole introvert extrovert thing like it is interesting because i'm trying to like there's so many different things I've about it like you know people are introverts but then like I can be extroverted and get my energy from other people if it's like good energy obviously like if I'm around good energy like I'm gonna feel good if I'm around bad energy I'm obviously not gonna feel good so I do like being by myself though that's what it, like I dropped out of college out of studying psychology because i don't agree with the complete like dsm-5 and all that and all the rules they have for like psychologists and therapists i don't like all that i don't agree with all of it i have been diagnosed i don't even know if i they properly diagnosed no i don't think i was properly diagnosed because with lcsw i don't think you can do that but i think you can like suggest stuff like i've they have suggested um critical depression for me and i think i did take like an adhd test when i was like middle school and i think i got adhd but even with all that like i think it can be it helped me put a label on it we're circling back always happens it i think it could all be like spiritual reasons i have i was like crying to my mom about something this week last week i don't know because she <laughs> She brings up the college thing a lot. And I brought up how, like, I don't, like, I feel like I have before, but sometimes you just have to, like, say it over and over again. And I did say it a lot more eloquently this time. Watching Gilmore Girls and, like, Rory drops out and Mr. Gilmore says something. And then, like, I'm like, can you please, like, shut up? Like, and I'm, I don't know why I'm, like, worried about someone, like, thinking that's, like, so extreme, but I don't. My mom didn't see it as extreme, like it was called for. It really was. And I don't even want to talk about my mom or... I want her to come on the pod, really. I almost started a pod with her because I think it'd be fun. We just, like, our relationship's so interesting. Okay, but, um, it, what was I saying? <sighs> Box breathing. I think is what I'm doing. I don't know. In three, hold three, out six. Oh, okay, I was getting into, okay, so depression and ADHD. Like, I also repeated it to my aunt on Sunday. Not as eloquently and not not as, like, anything, but... So, I, when I was going... Wasn't going off on my mom, but when I was, like, having my speech moment, I wish I recorded it. I really did. So, it was good. Like, I think when I was depressed, like... I've heard Jim Carrey say this, like, you just, 
you need a deep rest like you're kind of like i think old parts of myself were dying and i needed to like regenerate myself again and with adhd i don't know if it was a technology addiction it was i think my environment everyone's environment affects them a lot and i i, I know i'm very um sensitive but i think everyone is and everyone's getting a lot more sensitive i think don't get me wrong but oh so it's like not that you would even get me wrong but like i don't know I took medicine for it, like, took medicine for both ADHD and, and diadepressant. Took it for a year, went off a year, took it again for a year. I think that was it. Maybe. Maybe I took it on and off again. I don't know. It helped me a lot. It did. But it also helped me with, like, like, I think what ultimately helps us is getting in tune with our bodies because, like, our true, regular, natural cycles of our bodies and our feelings because that's, like, the naturalist and closest to God because our bodies are, like, temples. They're... They give us signs and signals of stuff. Like, I think my depression was telling me that I was caring too much what other people think. That I was grieving a loss, multiple losses. Like, a breakup is a grieving loss. Like, those things like doing stuff I didn't want to do like school like it, the medicine helped me with school and I on I have never really liked school never I got I failed like so many classes and if that's surprising to you there's a lot more you don't know about I guess like that I have failed a lot of classes and the ADHD like I wasn't interested in things and it was hard for me like I've had like reading comprehension um tutors I've had math tutors I've had a lot, I've been blessed with some of the extra help that has helped me, but like, and I don't regret going to college. I've gone to like three different schools, taken breaks, a bunch. I got suspended my first semester. I think that was like a sign that this wasn't for me. And then I went back and the times I went back after was not to please me. It was to please someone else. My mom. Shout out you. <laughs> um I did it for her and her and if she ever comes on this she'll mention that I have three semesters left I think it would be more than that but whatever and even like last week she's like just get an art degree because I was talking about the psychology thing like how I don't agree with the DSM-5 and everything and all the rules and everything she's like just get an art degree but what would that do like honestly what would that do I would still be doing what I'm doing right now. I have realized that and like figured that out. I would st I would be doing what I'm doing right now. Because I do not want to work behind a desk. I do not want to... I'm going off today. <laughs> I do not want to work behind a desk. I do not want to do 9 to 5. I've done a lot of jobs. I've done a lot of random jobs. I'm not going to explain it all. We could do an episode on that. Like I w will explain it to you, if, but I've done a lot of job and I would be doing what I'm doing right now because I can make my own schedule. I can accept decline, I accept my own rate. I'm not working for like a boss. Like that's what I really love. Like, and it, I, st I still don't love like being in someone else's house. Like it kind of makes me uncomfy. I make myself as comfortable as possible. Like because I have grown a lot as a person and have become more comfortable in my body and like accepting that I exist, I'm alive, I can't like hide, like I have to be comfortable where I go, like I've learned a lot of that. I've also been diagnosed autistic by my family, um, but I think it's all like spiritual and but I would still be doing what I am doing right now and I think my mom just wants to be able to tell her friends that I th she's mentioned that she feels like all the money she has paid has been a waste on college and I hate that she thinks that way or feels that way because it's not a waste. I think every, th every experience you have, you learn from it. We're circling back again. So it's not a waste. Literally any, that's like saying, oh and I thought about this the other day. That's like saying the 16 years I have with my dad was a waste because he died. Isn't that like the same thing? Like no. 
or like I mean the comparisons like the same like how could the three years actually I spent like six seven I spent a lot of time in school because I kept failing um and taking breaks but failing I spent a lot of time in school and none of it was a waste it has all gotten me to be where I am and who I am now and the 16 years I have with my dad were absolutely not a waste and anyone would tell me that anyone would tell me that like he like that just doesn't make sense to me a lot of things don't I've I've realized like and that's why school has been hard like I think differently I like I am more right-sided I do have a good balance of logical and creative mind thinking but like my mom she mentions several other things that I can't remember but her handwriting being bad like I think she has mentioned that people growing up like they said her handwriting was bad and I like don't see it at all I don't see it it at all because she repeats it to herself she's like my handwriting's so bad and it's so cute like it's so cute and good and it's like I just don't see that at all and it's like s someone could be seeing that so it's all like different perspectives really like it's crazy so that's like it's hard for me maybe that's like in relationships like why like when I do stick with someone like I can be codependent I actually backtrack that like I don't know about that am I codependent because but I think I would latch well I, okay it was because I didn't have a sense of self but yeah I think this has been a really good episode I would yeah. <laughs> drink more but um I don't know it's 9 59 think that's a good omen <laughs> everything's a good omen if you think about it that way I would love to talk with you all more like I don't know I would I mean that's I would just love to talk with you all more it's 10 o'clock now. Good omen. Just kidding. I love you all. I really do. And I'm so glad to have had this therapy session with you all. Like, truly, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to my future kids, I love you. Family. I guess, is it? I guess it's not future kids. It's just my kids. Have y'all seen where uh, Jojo Siwa has named hers? Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy. I wonder if that will happen. Okay. I love y'all. I've kind of come out of stalemate. So like, because I kind of forget what, like what I was talking about. I mean, my mo the mom stuff. Like, nothing is a waste if you experienced it. And I think that was circle backed. So I love you all. Let me just end here, because I love you all. And this has been, this has been great. Like I just said. Um, comment down below if you have questions or comments, anything. I hope you all have a great rest of your week or wherever you're listening to this rest of your day, rest of your life. I hope you learned something from this or just was entertained. Benefited in some way. This was not a waste listening to it, no matter what you think. It wasn't. Um, so yeah, I love, love all.